Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Miss Sharanda. Yes, I know I'm looking all the way real, a little bit rough and real, but I wanted to come to you guys today to do a real quick video on how I do my hair when I'm wearing it under my wigs to protect my real hair during the week. And I just washed and conditioned my hair, so I figured I'd say, you know what, before I put it up, I might as well show you guys real quick. I'm doing this video on my iPod, that's why the quality is going to look a little different because I just wanted to make a quick video just to show you guys real quick on how, you know, I do my hair under my wigs and hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys had a great weekend. If you're in NYC, you know the snow is crazy, but we'll make it through. Anyway, let's get started, okay? I want to show you guys what I use to do it. First, since my hair is still a little damp from washing it, I'm going to show you guys it. I already did it to the section. What I will do was put it in four sections and then put the product in each section. First, I put the Shea Moisture Strengthening, Grow, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner in first. Then I will use the, and it's the black castor oil line. Then I will use the, the moisturizer then I will put in the uh, Eden Body Works All Natural Curl Defining Cream. This is, oh my god, this, good, this stuff is great. Especially if you're doing braid out or twist outs. Awesome. Then I will use some raw shea butter. And this is by Medina Industrial Corporation. The yellow one. And then whatever oil you choose. I'm using the Hot 6 Oil, African Royale Hot 6 Oil. My bottle was toe up, you guys, because I'm almost finished with this bottle, as you can see. I'm using the last little drop. Then I use a paddle brush and a wide tooth comb. So this is my last section, and I want to show you guys real quick how I do this. I take a little bit of that leave-in conditioner, put it in my hand, and I start on the tips first and work it all the way up to the top. This is the leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture. Then I'm going to take the moisturizer and put some of that in my hair. I'll open that up. I'm almost finished with this too. I'm trying the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil line. I'm going to let you guys know how that works out. Uh, um, I put this in my hair, started from the tips, work it up, all the way up, put it like that, make sure you work it all the way through, get it inside the section, then I take some of that Eden Body Works curling cream. I like to warm it up a little bit, the product. Put it in my hair too as well. Work it in there. And then I'll take just a little tiny bit of this raw shea butter, this shea butter, because it gets really thick quick. And it gets really white, but don't worry, it doesn't stay white, it absorbs into your hair. I like to really warm this up helps melt it into the hair a little bit better you can get all of that you really want to work this in this to help seal in the moisture from all the other products that you put in your hair and then my final step is the hot six oil which I only got a drop left I'll take that or whatever I got left in this bad boy I mean let's be real let me open up this top because I'm almost finished anyway and take out whatever's left in this bottle, which is barely nothing, but I'm gonna use what I got left. I gotta buy me another bottle. Take that and put that in my hair. When you put that oil, you wanna moisturize that part into your scalp, especially your edges. Okay, once you got everything in your hair, take your wide tooth comb, start from 
the ends and work your way up. Your hair should already be kind of soft after you deep condition it, so you should be good. And then I'll take my paddle, paddle brush and just go through it real quick. Why well, I seem like every time I'm making a video, sirens gotta go fast? I don't know why. You can work that through your hair. You see how soft your hair is after you do that? And look at that curl pattern. That's so pretty. That is so pretty. See what I'm saying? They go to sirens. I know it ain't that many fires in New York City. Okay? And I'm just going through real quick just so I can work it in. So I'm about to break this section down. Okay, smooth it out. See you guys already did this section already. I just put it in a braid. I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm going to just braid my hair down. Let me come up close. Just start at the tip. And it doesn't have to be super neat, but just neat enough so that it lays down flat enough. So when you're wearing your wigs, you start with small sections and you just go. Take each section at a time. We're trying not to block it so you guys can see. See the braid? Show you guys real quick. And I'll just, you know, put a scarf on my head and go to bed. And the reason why I'm doing only two braids because it's easier for me during the week to take them down and do a co-wash in the middle of the week and to moisturize and seal my hair during the middle of the week too. Because if I would have had a bunch of braids, it would be just too much of a headache. Let me show you guys. Go in the back. Hope y'all can see that. Going down the back. Okay. Now when you get to the very end, to the tip of your hair, to the very tip, take a little bit more of that curling cream. You put that on the tip of your hair and a little tiny bit more of that shea butter. You can put that on the tip of your hair before you braid the braid all the way down. You can just keep going all the way. Now I don't see it all, I don't braid it all the way to the tip, tip, tip. Because like I said, I like to take it out during the week. And it makes it easier for me. There you go. And this is how I wear my hair under my wigs. Something quick, easy for me. Now I don't put all these products in my hair every single day, every time I take it down. If I'm just moisturizing and sealing during the week, I'll just use the moisturizer and the oil or moisturizer and the shea butter to do that, to moisturize and seal. But I did all of these because I just washed and conditioned my hair. Condition and deep condition my hair. So I want to make sure it's down. Here are my two braids. Let me show you guys from the back. No, the part is not going to be perfect, but my hair is going under a wig. So that's okay. And I would usually just pin the ends down under so I can put my wig cap on. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Share if you know anyone that needs to find out a way to lay their hair down. Something quick and easy for them during the week while they're wearing, wearing their wigs and to protect their hair under their wigs. And, you know, just to, you know, keep your natural hair together. Okay? Please come back for more videos. And I appreciate you guys' support so far. And as always, stay blessed. And of course, you guys know I will put the information for the products that I use in the bottom bar. Bye.
below. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.